Magnesites, magnesites, magnesites. You know, some of you are under the impression that I am a Marvel fan. Some of you are under the impression that I am a DC fan. But if you listen carefully, I am known as Thor's Mortish Counterpart. I am also known as the Black Kryptonian. How can he be Marvel and DC at the same time? That's right. I like Marvel and DC. So let me clear up a couple of things, okay? I've seen y'all say certain things. I'm like, why did they, they just say that? Like, I'm not a DC guy. Or they'll say, yeah. Oh, well, why'd you, uh, like, once, once somebody says something almost in a sarcastic way, like, kind of like, oh, you doing this DC review or a Marvel intro. First off, so you know, the Marvel intro that you've been seeing now was made by one of my technically gifted Magnus sites. Shout yourself out in the comments section, brother. It seems like it is the favorite um, intro of the Magnus sites till date. Like, y'all really love the uh, Optimus Prime Transformers intro. You know, the ending. You right now? Subscribe. You like, you like the fire uh, ending. You love the new Magnus answers. But when you made that, I liked it. But I didn't know how much the Magnus sites were going to like it. So now I incorporate it before almost all of my videos. So that was made by Magnusite. Hey, look, if one of y'all wants to make me a DC intro also, I will use it, okay? So I will make sure that I literally, I mean, it'd be perfect because I talk about Marvel and DC because I love them both. I would use the DC intro when appropriate and I would use the Marvel intro when appropriate, okay? What you notice a lot of times is that if I do something about Marvel and it's a reaction, the majority of the time I'll use um, my... <laughs> the Black Viking is back and ready to react. Why? Because I'm wearing the Thor helmet. I'm wearing the Thor shirt and all that. You know what I mean? It's, it's appropriate. So, like I said, if one of you gifted Magnusites wants to make me a DC intro... That'd be perfect, and I will use it some of my, 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 my bitches. Just make sure it's up to par with the Marvel, because you don't want the rest of the mag sites talking shit about you. But let's get back to this, man. Marvel versus DC. Which one does Tyrone like better? I, am I one or the other? I really am both. I mean, I can sit here and say that I love Spider-Man. I love Venom. I love um, Tony Stark. The Hulk. Thor. Magneto, Wolverine, you know what I mean? These are guys that I grew up with and just absolutely, I love these characters, okay? Then you can go over to DC, okay? Of course, you, you, you all, how does it go? Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, I mean, the trinity of the, the, the DC universe, okay? The Flash, which was always one of my fucking favorites. Especially when that TV series came out. I was like, man, this is what the fuck I am talking about. Um, and some of you may say, you know what? Wait a minute. You're really a DC guy because you always said Superman was your absolute favorite. He is my absolute favorite. That doesn't make me totally a DC guy. Yeah, he maybe have been created by DC, but that doesn't make me a DC guy. You understand? He is my favorite superhero of all time. Now, some of my, um, some of the characters that I like have been, um, you know, some some have been, you know, it's made through the movies, and some have been made through the comic books and cartoons and stuff like that themselves. So, for example, like, um, I wasn't a big uh, fan of Thor until I saw um, the movie. I'm a big, I'm a big. Uh, fan of being a man, a man's man, okay, a hammer is also something that a man should always have in his in his utility drawer at his house, you need to have a hammer, sometimes a beard, 
um, uh, be a savage from time to time, you know. Pull bitches, okay. Be in great shape um, and be a god in your own right. I said, this movie is done pretty good. I like how this guy plays Thor, okay? I always hated Thor's, um, um, most of the way they drew his costume in the, in the um, comic book. So I never really cared for Thor. I didn't have a problem with him. I just never really cared for him. Um, so Thor was one that was created through the movies, okay? But I always loved the Hulk, Hulk from the comic books cartoons, you know, stuff before they started making live action stuff. I always love the Hulk. Something it is in, in that inherent feeling of wanting to let loose and just tear some shit up was like, wow, you know, like that, you know, so those are just two examples, like one that was created by the movies, one was created by, by the comic books. And, um, like for example, uh, if you were to go over to like Tony Stark, I never gave a fuck about Iron Man. I did not like him. I just never gave a fuck about him. He was never interesting to me. When I saw the movie, I was like, wow, I really like this character. Like, absolutely. Like, Robert Downey Jr. made me a fan of him in the movies. Um, never gave a fuck about Black Widow until I saw uh, Scarlett Johansson, which I believe was her best look in Iron Man 2. Dum, dum, dum. Ooh, girl, man, Lord, look. Let some woman come up to me with that haircut, that hairstyle, and it's it's on. And it could be black hair, it could be red, it don't matter, blonde. I love the way her hair was done, man. It's sexy as hell. Of course, you got to wear the cat suit. Um, but even on the DC side, like, um, I always liked Superman as a kid, but it only augmented my like for him with what Christopher Reeve did. I mean, come on. I mean, come on. I mean, we all know Christopher Reeve, greatest of all time for now, as far as Superman goes. And we'll see what Henry Cavill does with him. Henry Cavill was an excellent, he is the most excellent replacement of um, Christopher Reeve that there's ever been. I mean, there can't nobody touch, touch Reeve but him. Okay, so, but the movie, my mom, you know, like the movie used to come on when we were kids and me and my brother would tape them and watch them all the time, like, Superman was just, oh, man, you know, so, like I said, you know, I like that, we used to watch the Super Friends and all that shit, and, you know, The Flash and Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman, the absolute greatest comic book heroine of all time, okay, beautiful and can fight, and fight half-naked, okay, what, what's better than that, Batman, the most intelligent, dangerous man on the planet, born out of sorrow and, and, and chaos, the man has become one of the greatest saviors of the planet Earth. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I mean, you know, some of these things come apparent to you as you get older. You know, at first you're thinking, as a kid, oh, Batman cool because he's cute. He got the point of ears and he got that gun that can shoot different stuff. He got pellets in his belt. Then you get older, you're like, damn, that, that motherfucker is really cool. He rich, he pull bitches. He drive a fast car. He can fight. Um, he know everything, okay? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah, it, it's just certain things really, you know, like I said, come to you as you get older. Um, um, like I said, I like both. Some of you might say, well, you name more Marvel characters than you. That don't mean that I like one more than the other. Tell you the truth, I wish they'd unify the universes forever. You know what I'm saying? Um, or, or not forever, but, you know, they can do something like they kind of do with the ultimate, you know, where they just do different things. Because, or like my WWE fans now, Vince McMahon bought WCW. Except, uh, you know, like if they if they merged the universes and they just had a separate storyline where we could see. Because we've always wanted to see certain characters, you know, um, that were... Yeah, that, that that would cross each other's paths. I mean, that's the most perfect scenario, period. You know, as of late, Marvel's been doing an excellent job with their movies, so it has made me more of a fan of certain characters of theirs. But it doesn't mean that I'm a Marvel guy. I love them both. They both have they like having two bad bitches, and you don't know which one to choose. You know what I'm saying? You know. One, 
one sexy as hell, and then one blow your socks off in the sack, you know, and say, like, okay, well, this one ain't good, but she fine. This one still look good, but she, she, she do stuff you can't do. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just they both got their, um, their merits, you know, their virtues, their positive and negative. And, you know, Marvel, of course, we well, you know they've been killing it in the movie scene. And I'm such a big fan of movies that if, um, I, no, I'm not going to make a decision. But I was going to say if I, if someone said, choose now, and they had a gun to my head, you know, I mean, I, I mean, I'll answer. I probably would choose um, Marvel. Because they, they've just been doing such a good job with movies. And I'm such a fan of movies that they're really getting me there. Because I, I really just been making videos and working. I really don't have the time to read comic books anymore. But I still try to read what I can from time to time. Catch what I can online. and you know. But um, we'll see what DC does in the next few, few years. But still, man. Uh, I, I still love the character Shazam, you know, everything they got. I still, I like Green Lantern, you know, it, it's it's a lot of their characters I like, man. I, I just, I, you know. So, that is my ramblings for talking about DC and Marvel, okay? I love you both. And because I am an actor, and that ain't no politician talk, if any of y'all need me in the movie, because I will have millions of followers, loyal followers, that are willing to march on movie theaters and buy a ticket to see Magnus perform. Alright, y'all. I think that's it. Love both of them. One million subscribers. Woo!